Yo, what's happening out there guys? It's real easy here and I'm back again today with another video for you. I'm going to be using the SP to MP glitch that we just posted and I'm going to be showing you how to do a solo car duplication glitch. You can duplicate any car you want with this. You do need custom plates. I'll just say that off the bat. Once again, SP to MP right now is only PS4. I don't think there is an Xbox method. Like I said, I've tried it. Uh, you know, many times on Xbox, it's not the same. We don't get the alert we need and we need that recent activity to join online. All right. If you're, if you want to try it on Xbox, you're welcome to go ahead. But anyways, the requirements that you need, first of all, you need minor turbulence in story mode. So you got to make sure that you play story mode up until minor turbulence. You play that mission and then make a quick game save right after you complete that mission and keep that, you know, keep that game save handy. All right. Apart from that, once you've gotten story mode done. What you need to then do is make sure your spawn location is set to somewhere in the city. I'll go over that in here in a little bit. But uh, once you've done that, then you can go ahead and what you need online actually is you need an MOC to do this glitch. You need the personal vehicle storage and you need Franklin's garage. OK, so in story, when you're doing minor turbulence, make sure before you get to minor turbulence, go to Grove Street and buy Franklin's Garage, all right? That's very important. You need Franklin's Garage at Grove Street to be able to do this glitch, okay? It costs about $30,000 in story mode. If you've completed the story up to that point, you should have more than enough money to buy that garage. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, and online, like I said, MOC, personal vehicle storage, and a retro or any Benny's vehicle that you want to duplicate with custom plates. Okay, that's very important. You need custom plates on it. And you also need a bunch of either Fagios or Sanchez's, some sort of bike that you don't mind duping over. And um, and that's how we're going to be getting our, you know, our retros. So solo money glitch, guys. Xbox dudes, I got you. Don't worry. I'm working on a video. I just wanted to get these SP to MP, you know, glitches out of the way so I can stop posting them. I'm not happy to post this glitch. So... I just wanted to get these out of the way first. I got you guys on Xbox for the weekend. I got you guys for some cool money glitches as well. I do believe Give Hearts to Friends has been patched, so we're waiting for a workaround for that. All right? So make sure you have all those requirements ready to go. And like I said, I have minor turbulence ready to go, uh, as you can see right there. Now my spawn location, I'm online. I'm going to set it to either last location somewhere out on the street, or you can set it to a garage, but you want to spawn anywhere in the city as you can see right here i'm kind of showing you anywhere around this area in actual in the los santos you know city area that's where you want to be spawning if you spawn in blaine county you will get an error message and uh, you'll be kicked offline okay so you have to make sure you're spawning in the city when you're doing sp to mp okay so once again remember spawn location right here i'm changing it I do set it right here, I think, to Alta Street, but I did fail the SP to MP glitch, so I had to go back and re-record some footage. And uh, but yeah, I was able to hit it again. Okay, I hit it again today. It works perfectly fine, so don't worry about that. Once you've gotten everything set up in story and online, go ahead and just close app. All right, close app before you do the glitch. Okay, so that's what I did right here. I closed app. I'm reloading into story mode. I'm gonna load up my game save right there. I just loaded up minor turbulence. Okay, you know you want to make sure you're on minor turbulence. All right. So I'm loading into minor turbulence. Now here I am as Trevor. This is right after I finished that mission. All right. Because remember I said make a game save right at that point. Okay. So there's a little bit of a difference though with this glitch. Now you have to make sure you go to Michael. Remember my last video I switched to Michael. It's essential to do it in this one because you need to spawn online as Franklin. And this is how you do it. You need to do the glitch with Michael. Okay. So at this point, what you're going to do once you spawn in with Michael, you need to make sure you have your PlayStation menu ready to disconnect and reconnect the internet. And you need to go ahead and put in a cheat as well to get a wanted level. Okay, so right now, all I'm doing is going to my PlayStation, you know, uh, settings, go to network and just have the network connection, you know, check mark menu. Just make sure you're right there and double tap to come back to the game. I just inputted the wanted level cheat. Just put it in once. It's R1, R1, uh, circle R2, I believe. Left, right, left, right, left, right. I'll leave that. I'll leave a link for all the cheats down in the pinned comment. So go check that out if you need to find that. Now, I'm just going to get wait. I'm just going to wait to actually get busted by the cops. Okay, so they're walking up to me right now. When the hands go up, you want to go ahead and press pause. All right. We're not using a recent right now. We're going to an invite only. You want to be in an invite only for this. So invite only, accept the alert, double tap right away and disconnect the internet. Double tap, double tap to come back again. You're going to get this alert. Double tap and reconnect the internet. Come back and you're going to see that you're going to get a new alert, unable to connect. Once you get this unable to connect alert, you're going to go ahead and accept it. 
Now wait for quitting session to disappear. Boom, double tap again, disconnect internet, come back to the game, black screen, double tap and reconnect the internet, okay? That's very, very quickly. But make sure on that black screen, you double tap and you go and reconnect the internet very quickly. Stay on the PlayStation menu over here and go straight to one of these recent activities and just activate them, all right? It has to be a recent activity that gets us on GTA Online, okay? That's very, very essential. So right now, for some reason, I had some trouble, but here we go, I found a bounty, and uh, now I'm just gonna wait for it to load and then hit Start GTA Online, all right? There we go. You're gonna get the Joining GTA Online in the bottom. Now press Square, all right? You wanna press Square to retry once you get that alert, and now you'll have a little bit of hang time, but you should be loading up online momentarily, okay? Sometimes you can be in the clouds for a while. I don't know why joining an invite-only session takes a longer time sometimes for some reason, but it does work. Just make sure you get that timing right exactly how I was doing it. And if you if you had your spawn location somewhere in the city, for some reason after I did the, or you know, after I failed a few times, I went over to the beach. So I actually spawned here at the beach where my last video was kind of, you know, where I was chilling at. So boom, there we go. My character split. I'm Franklin online. That is exactly what you want. And there's my online character just kind of walking away and stuff. I think right here I was trying to take a screenshot, but yeah, it's pretty cool guys. So right now we're online as Franklin. No peyotes, so don't try to look for them. The game thinks we're in the middle of a mission. Now you are ready to, well, almost ready to do the glitch, okay? Now the reason you had to buy Franklin's Garage in Story Mode is because that actually carries over into online, all right? Franklin's Grove Street Garage. So at this moment, once you're online as Franklin, remember the interaction menu is kind of screwed up, so you have to close it and reopen it really quickly to be able to access it normally. But this is where Grove Street is, all right? That's where you would go to buy it in Story Mode. This is where you have to go in online to actually go and do the glitch. Like I said, you need an MOC, has to have personal vehicle storage, and you need a Benny's vehicle to duplicate, all right? And obviously the ability to sign in as a motorcycle club president. Forgot about that, all right? But, you know, clubhouse cheapest one is like 150 grand or 200 grand, not that much. So once you've gotten your MOC, come over to Grove Street, to that garage where you saw on the map I showed you guys. Now, go ahead and back up your MOC to this spot right here, all right? Now, you want to have it in this area, you know, you don't have to have it all the way backed up to that kind of, you know, parking spot there. You can have it a little bit more, you know, pulled up forward. It's up to you. So at this moment, the, the reason I'm putting the MOC there is because my dupe will always spawn right there. And you're going to see what I'm saying. Like we've done this glitch before. It was never patched. It was just the SP to MP. So this glitch still works. This is actually an old glitch. Uh, and shout out to Snoopsa. My bad. I totally forgot to shout out Snoopsa and Shift Team, you know, for the, uh, for the actual SP to MP. So... Uh, yeah, shout out to those guys, you know, huge contributions to the community. Now, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to call up the LG Retro Custom that I have, my Benny's vehicle that we're going to be duping. It has to have a custom plate on it first, okay? So, here we go. You see, this is my LG Retro Custom that I'm going to be duping right here. I have a custom plate on it already. So, I think the plate is like glitching or something like that, but this has a custom plate. It needs a custom plate or you're going to make dirty dupes and you could get dupe detected when you start going to sell these cars. Well, it's not you can. You will get dupe detected, okay? So, make sure you have a custom plate on this vehicle. That is essential, all right? Very essential. So, now what we're going to be doing is you're going to go ahead and just park the car here, get out, and press right D-pad to enter Franklin's garage, okay? This is super easy, man, super quick. You can get a dupe every 30 seconds. Now, walk back. Press right D-pad to exit the garage and check this out, all right? Our dupe is going to spawn right behind the MOC. Look at that. That's a dupe right there. So go ahead, open up interaction menu, return vehicle to storage. That's going to return our original and then call up a Fagio, in my case, a Sanchez. So I have a Sanchez on the map. I'm going to press right D-pad now, getting to, into that dupe, and boom. I've just saved a dupe into the MOC. Now, that was really quick, so I'm going to go over that again. But make sure you drive the dupe out, okay? You want to drive this out now. And there we go. It's completely replaced over the Sanchez or Fagger or whatever you called out. And this is how you rinse and repeat. Enter the garage again, all right? We just made one dupe right there. That quick, all right? The most of this video is just setting up for this glitch. So enter the garage. Now go ahead and come back out. Make sure you're signed in as an MC, obviously, before you start doing this. Now, right when you get out, open up your interaction menu. Hit return vehicle to storage. That's going to return the original, uh, you know, retro I have over there. I'm calling out a Sanchez. Boom, I have a Sanchez on the map. Get into this car quickly or it will brick. Don't take too long. Then go up to your MOC, hit right D-pad, go ahead and go right in there, okay? And just like that, we've made another dupe. You want to just keep repeating this over and over and over again, all right? Wherever you have those Sanchez's or Fagios, you know, in, a, in 10 car garages, make sure they're parked in 10 car garages, not in the clubhouse. 
and you know these new dupes will just keep going into those slots okay so as you can see right here same thing rinsing and repeating you know in the garage out of the garage return vehicle to storage that's going to return the original retro call up a sanchez or a faggio have it on the map just like that and then run into the dupe and take it into your moc drive it out rinse and repeat that's all you got to do guys okay so I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I will have an Xbox money glitch coming out next. I'm not forgetting about you guys, all right? Xbox is my, you know, that's my shit, man. Xbox is the original console I worked on. I love Xbox. I will continue to make glitches and videos for Xbox, okay? I got you guys. I'm not going to leave you guys out in the weeds, all right? So that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by pressing that big red button if you're brand new. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out, everyone.